An empty government building in Taunton is still costing the taxpayer £5,000 a day, five years after it was supposed to open. It was meant to be one of nine high-tech regional fire control centres, but they were axed by the coalition government. Well, today the scandal of the empty centre brought an angry response from the Fire Brigade's union. Our Home Affairs correspondent Steve Brody looks at the figures. Approved in 2004 as a Labour plan to replace existing control centres in the southwest, it was to be state of the art. But by 2010, it was behind schedule and over budget. No one wanted it, and the coalition scrapped it. The White Elephant was put up for rent at £450,000 a year. The property consultants hired by the government to offload the building described it as an oven ready solution for those wanting inbuilt technology and as a resilient, extremely secure environment. But a freedom of information request by the BBC reveals the three-storey building is costing a cool £1.9 million a year in rent, utilities and management. That's more than it cost in the first year it was completed. This is an outrageous and disgraceful waste of taxpayers' money and it's been going on for far too long. Three governments have overseen this project and yet the building still lies empty. £5,000 a day of taxpayers' money being poured down the drain at a time when our budgets and our services are getting slashed. Here at Taunton Fire Station in 2013, because of budget cuts, full-time cover was cut in half. And yet just down the road, the government's pouring almost £2 million a year into the unused and empty building. Taunton's new MP agrees it's all very unacceptable and is writing to the fire minister to get something done. I think it's something that definitely needs to look into and I personally will be writing a letter to Marc Francoise uh, to see if we can have a discussion about it and actually bring this whole position forward and get some sort of change. I think it's been rather much on hold and I think now it needs to have a proper look. It's actually tied into some kind of a lease that will have to be uh, considered and addressed but I do think it's time it had an urgent review. The government admits there have been very few inquiries indeed about this multi-million pound purpose-built centre. Even the attraction of a £6,000 espresso machine has done little to promote a sale. It's looking very likely it could be another five years before the doors are open for business, whatever that business might be. C. Brody, BBC Points West, Taunton.